morning everyone welcome back to the vlog channel Steven's here yeah, well actually yeah, yeah. I'm where Steven is yeah. so I guess that means we got to tell them where we're going on vacation Hawaii. Hawaii we are in Waikiki we have this beautiful view <laughs> from our room Steven upgraded us to oceanfront for $15 a day even though I told him not to but can't really can't really complain about this view it's nope. beautiful so the reason Steven and I are in Hawaii is because he has work here. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. how actually, many days have you been here? I gotta get going. I know, you have to leave. Uh, this is now my fourth day here. So yeah, so it's his last day of work, and then tomorrow starts our vacation. So, I got here late last night. I have one solo day, and I got big plans. Yeah. So, you I, enjoy your day. I gotta get going. And we'll see you in the evening. Yeah, love, love you. you. Aw, jinx. <laughs> so I'm very excited about my day in Waikiki today and just this like Hawaiian vacation in general, especially because this time last year we were here in Hawaii on our honeymoon. So it's kind of fun and like romantic and we're reminiscing a lot. But um, it actually got off to a really, really rough start last night. If you follow me on Twitter, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But if not, I'll give you the TLDR. I have been struggling with an allergic reaction for the past eight months. It's unknown, they don't know what I'm allergic to. So right as I was boarding my flight yesterday, it blew up, like eyes almost swollen shut, cheeks swollen, hives everywhere, throat closing, and I made the decision that I just, I still wanted to fly, but it literally looked like I got punched in the face. The pilot came up to me and was like, I need you to give me 100% certainty that you're gonna be fine on this flight because there is no like, emergency landing like you're flying from San Diego to Hawaii you're in the middle of the Pacific Ocean but I'm okay I got here I'm still a little bit swollen you can see this eye is like swollen on the top I look a little puffy on my cheeks but no hives I was covered in them when I got to the hotel last night but woke up this morning and I look and feel much better before Stephen left he went down to the hotel breakfast and got me a yogurt and a banana so I'm gonna eat my little breakfast and plan out my day. My big plan for today is to hit up some of the luxury shops. I bought my first luxury item when I was here with Steven last year. I went to Louis Vuitton and I got a Speedy Bandolier 30, I think. Was it 30 or 35? I don't remember. The medium sized one. And I love it so much. I use it all the time. And I have been thinking about getting another designer item since then and saving for it. I never want this to come up as like bragging or ungrateful or anything like that. This is just something that I really, really enjoy and have been saving a lot for. And I like sharing my life with you guys and you guys really enjoyed when I showed you my luxury shopping when I was here last time so I figured I'd show you guys what I'm gonna be up to today I'm thinking I want to get a Gucci belt that's what I was saving for and then I also need a new card holder so I figure why not get it while I'm already here the reason luxury shopping is so popular in Hawaii is because the prices are about 25% cheaper than mainland pricing so that's already a pretty big discount but when you think about that you might be buying an item that's two or three hundred dollars or for some people like two or three thousand dollars twenty five percent is a big difference and the sales tax is only four percent as opposed to in california where it's eight percent so that leads to some pretty good savings which is why i've been saving for this trip to go buy what i want to buy while i'm here so i want to like really take my time and enjoy it because i typically do not go luxury shopping this is a very like special occasion for me so i want to walk through all the shops and enjoy it but i'm thinking gucci belts and maybe like a louis vuitton car card holder not totally sure though gonna keep my options open so i think i'm gonna start off my first day in waikiki by just wandering and if you've seen any of my travel vlogs before that's pretty much my favorite thing to do in a city that i'm not super familiar with is just walk and look with no real destination waikiki is super touristy super beautiful and very safe so i feel totally comfortable just walking and vlogging and looking so uh Let's enjoy the beach. Also, I mean, perfect opportunity to play Pokemon Go, right? I better catch a Corsola. never seen water as blue and clear as it is in Hawaii. This looks so enticing right now. If I had brought my bathing suit and my little day bag, I'd be I'd be sitting out there in the water right now, but today I was just planning on like walking in the morning and then maybe going to the beach in the afternoon, but now I just want to go in the water now. It's so pretty. Also, it's a lot hotter than I expected it to be. It's just like it's really humid, so it feels like 
like a wet hot. Like I just want to go in the water and like cool off. I'm wearing sunscreen though, so hopefully I don't get a burn. I'm not gonna really be wearing much makeup on this trip. I'm wearing some eyeliner today. It looks really bad because my eyes were so swollen, but other than that, I think I'm just gonna go makeupless this trip, give my face a break and just be a natural Hawaiian tourist. It's so beautiful, oh my gosh. All right, 100% chance of me going in the water after I finish my shopping. So I'm trying to decide which card holder I want to get. I think I like the light pink. So either the one with the little button or just the regular card holder. I'm not sure. This is what I used to have from Michael Kors, but I kind of like the button. You can fit more inside of it. So I'm not sure. There's also this one that's still really nice, Louis Vuitton, but not as flashy because it's the black. And it's a little bit smaller than the pink one because it doesn't have the coin zip. But I never really have coins anyways, so... I feel like I should either go with this or with this. I decided to browse the store and just walk a little bit while I think about it because obviously this is like a bigger purchase than I normally make. So I wanna make sure that I really think about which one I want and which one is worth the money. So I had been calling the store for the past couple weeks knowing I was coming here, asking if they had the Palace Clutch and it's sold out everywhere. There's no wait list, nothing like that. And when I came in, they said they didn't have it. So I was like, whatever, I'm just gonna go for the card holder and at the last second she checked and they had just gotten a shipment in literally still in the bag oh my this i've been wanting this bag for so long it's like the perfect everyday bag they have it in black and blue i like the black this just made my decision a heck of a lot harder because this bag it's so small so i could use it every day and my current everyday bag is like you can see the strap it's like totally wearing out so i wanted to get a new one and this is like the perfect size. I've been talking about this bag to Steven all the time. Oh my gosh. You guys, I was not planning on getting a bag because I had already called and rolled it out. And now, and this bag is sold out everywhere. Every time I've called, they said, it's like there's not even a wait list available. I feel like, oh my gosh. I've been talking about this bag for so long. Okay. I'm gonna get it. The woman said I was so lucky. She said everyone's been looking for that bag and that it'll, it would probably have been gone in an hour. I just got here as soon as the bag arrived. So lucky. Yay, I just called my husband and told him because I've been talking to him about this bag. <laughs> you guys, iconic orange bag. I am so happy. I definitely did not expect to be able to buy that bag today. I had thought about getting a different bag because I really wanted like a small side satchel. And Steven was like, no, don't do that. That's stupid. Like just get the belt because it's way cheaper and wait until that bag comes back into stock because he knew that was like the bag that I really wanted and there was just no way I was gonna get it. How lucky am I? That is gonna cut my designer shopping time a lot shorter though. Louis Vuitton was the first store I went into and I was only planning on getting the little card holder there and then walking through a bunch of other other stores and maybe getting a belt but I spent the money that I allocated so that is it for designer shopping I am gonna go back to my hotel do a little unboxing put all my stuff in this bag because I'm gonna start using it right away and then probably hit the beach in celebration this is not what I thought I was gonna end up buying today okay I am back in my room it is hot outside oh my gosh I stopped at the little ABC store it's like the really common convenience store in Hawaii Got this giant water bottle for 99 cents. I got two beach towels. These were like six bucks. And I brought our snorkel gear because we're gonna be doing a lot of snorkeling when we go to the big island tomorrow. But we didn't bring towels and these are thin enough that they can go in the snorkel bag, which we're checking on the flight. And I got a Malibu fizzy pink lemonade drink. I thought about stopping and getting a cocktail because I'm just so happy and just to celebrate and enjoy my vacation. But I was like, you know what? I just spent a lot of money. I should get the $3 fizzy lemonade instead. So, let's unbox this Louis Vuitton. So again, I really, I'm really self-conscious about this potentially coming off as like really out of touch and like braggy and that's not what I'm trying to do. I just really, really love watching videos like this where people, you know, vlog in luxury stores and do unboxings. Like I watch a lot of those videos and I never get to make them because I don't make a lot of luxury purchases. So the fact that I just did makes me want to kind of like live that dream luxury shopper life and vlog it. Oh man, I can't tell if my hair's still wet from a shower or if it's just real sweaty, but let's get into it. So 
we have the bag and each of the items are boxed up and what I thought was interesting is after I was checking out they're like oh do you want a box for the item I was like yeah sure they're like okay it's an extra 15 cents and I was like isn't that kind of strange that like you spend a lot of money at a store like this and then pay an extra 15 cents for a box but of course I did it inside the bag we'll do the one I'm most excited about first this is the palace clutch again the bag that i have been wanting to get for a while and looking into and watching a million unboxings like this but it is just so hard to find because everyone wants it take off the little ribbon makes me feel so fancy guys here's the box and nope we got one more bag before we actually get to see this the palace clutch so it has this little wrist strap, but um, I only wear crossbody bags. So that's one of the reasons I was excited about this, is it has a crossbody strap. So it looks pretty small, but it's actually really wide and it's built to be wide and it fits a lot. I was testing it out in the store to make sure. When I was here last year and made my first luxury purchase at Louis Vuitton, I got the Speedy Bandolier and I love that bag and I use it a lot, but it's not my everyday bag. My everyday bag has been this little coach crossbody bag for the past I think four or five years I got it on Black Friday and I love this bag I've gotten my use out of it as you can see on the crossbody strap so I'm gonna have to retire this baby and move everything into this because this is gonna be my everyday bag and I'm still gonna be careful with it but probably not I'm not gonna baby it as much as I do my speedy I like never take it out in the rain like i'm so so careful with it i never like put it on the floor of like a movie theater or a cab this i have just accepted that it's gonna get dirty and that's okay because i'm gonna get a lot of use out of it plus the crossbody strap is dark whereas on the speedy bandolier it's really light and so it gets that patina if you use it a lot this is already dark this is already dark so it'll be a lot easier to keep clean and keep looking nice and I also love that I can use this strap for an everyday bag. And if I go out, use this little one. And it looks like a nice little going out clutch. I'm, I'm just so excited. I can't believe I got this bag. I thought there was no way. So I didn't even bother talking about it because I just had ruled it out. I would called like five times and they were like, nope, no wait list, no nothing. So sorry to everyone who's on that wait list at the Honolulu store because they gave it to me. So it has the zip on the front. I need to take the little plastic off. And then on the very front, it has this little pouch where the black is. So that's nice for like putting your phone or something like that. You know what? I'm going to move all my stuff into this immediately. Just use it for the rest of the day. The only time I probably won't use it today is when I go down to the beach by myself because I don't want to leave this alone sitting on the beach. When I'm there with Steven, it'll be fine because, you know, if I'm in the water, he, he doesn't really do the water as much as I do. I'm like a big swimmer. He's not. So he can hang out on the beach with the little Louie. There it is so cute i love this bag for every day and for going out so i'm gonna put this back in its dust bag set it to the side for now and show you guys the other thing i got the second box much smaller is my card holder that i showed you guys in the store so i lost my wallet i actually i call it a wallet but it's just a card holder i had a little michael kors card holder that i got at the outlet mall that i've been using for a couple years and i lost it which means i had to go to the dmv and get a new driver's license and new credit cards and all that but i knew i was coming to hawaii when i lost it so i was like well i don't want to go buy a new one at a like mid-tier designer store like i usually would for you know 70 or 80 bucks when I'm gonna be going to Hawaii where the prices are cheaper and it won't be that much more expensive to get one from like Louis Vuitton or Gucci so I've just had all my cards like in the little side slit of my purse and it's been very difficult I'm surprised I haven't lost them yet box dust bag it's so funny that they give a dust bag for a card holder open it up and there is the card holder this was the most simple card holder they had i did really like the black one that i showed you guys with the little button on the front but it was twice the price as this one so if i was only getting a card holder i probably would have gone with that one but since i got the bag i decided to go for the less expensive one and it's still very very nice and honestly this is probably the better option for me because i'm so lazy doing that little button would drive me crazy so just having something that i can throw all of my cards into and I don't have that many cards. I never carry cash, so this is kind of perfect for me. There is what I got from Louis Vuitton on my 2018 trip. I definitely am not someone who makes a lot of luxury purchases or gets to go shopping like this all the time, so it was very special to me and I was very excited and I actually, like, literally, I was almost crying when they told me that they had this bag because I was just so taken aback, so surprised, which is ridiculous and, like, total first world problem-y, but I was very excited, so. 
uh yeah let's go ahead and continue on with the day i i have to do my schoolwork. i'm taking a class online and it is what's today today's thursday my homework's due every sunday i have some time right now before steven gets back and before i even wanted to hit the beach so I'm gonna be responsible. I'm gonna do like an hour of schoolwork and then hit the beach. All right, guys, I had a very productive hour here at the hotel. I didn't do my homework like I was supposed to, but I did edit two vlogs, so that is great. I'm about to hit the beach. I decided I wanna spend a lot of time in the water, which is why I'm not gonna bring my new Louis Vuitton bag, and also I'm not gonna bring the vlog. So I'll take some footage on my phone instead. Might be a little lower quality, but you'll survive and I'll be happier and more carefree floating in the water, so let's hit the beach. All right, we are back in the room. How was your day, babe? It was really good. It was a nice, good old busy work day. Yeah. Heading out for a you know, busy dinner, which unfortunately Sierra's not coming yeah, with. Yeah, I had dinner at Cheesecake Factory on my walk back from the beach because yeah. Steven said that this dinner was gonna be a little bit more corporate. I could still come, but that it would definitely be more buttoned up. And I was like, you know what? I think I'd rather just grab Grab a cocktail and some pasta at Cheesecake yep. Factory. So yep. I had literally one of the best days of my entire right. life. I was telling Steven this, and it's so funny, coming off of yesterday, which was, I wouldn't say one of the worst days of my life, but one of the most difficult days. Yep. Like it wasn't one of the worst days because no one died, no one got seriously hurt or anything. I was just really alone and yep. stressing and it was hard. But today was honestly like laying in the water on the beach yeah. for three hours by myself, just like looking up at the Ooh, hills. Salty. Yeah, I'm telling Sarah, yeah, Sarah get salty a ocean spray. I know, I need a shower. Yeah, after this, Sarah's got a shower. I know, it was honestly though, one of the best days yeah, of my yeah, entire yeah. life. But I'm glad I didn't get to share it with you. I know, it's okay. I know. And actually speaking with me, I have to go. Yeah, you do. Literally you literally, this is the second vlog clip you've been in and you're jumping out two I for know. two. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta so, get going guys. I was we're actually just gonna end this whole vlog here because okay. I wanna relax. So we'll see you guys tomorrow with a fun first day of our vacation together. Yep. So, see you then, bye! Bye.